Hi everyone, Joe here from G.I. Joe Personal Training and this is a series I've been doing all week on female fat loss. So if you're a female looking to lose weight, great place to start. All right. Um, there's already been two posts in this series already though which focused on the real meaning of toning and how to work towards that in the gym. But if you click the link in the post, that'll take you to those so you can catch up, then come back and watch this part. This part is going to focus on what I'd say is the first stage of nutrition. What I'd recommend to you as a beginner, someone who's new to uh, resistance training and new to this way of eating. The first thing I'm going to say to you then uh, is not to count. You do not need to count calories, you don't need to count macros. For those who don't know, macros are carbs, proteins and fats. Um, what I want you to do is focus on the quality of foods you're actually eating and the approximate um, quantities initially. That's all you need to do. Now, the reason I'm asking you to do this is because I want you to feel what it's like to fuel your body, fuel yourself, uh, predominantly on nutritious foods. And then uh, with this, you'll feel the more uh, the positive effect it has straight away. So we're talking anything from increased energy to feeling less tired, being more productive, less stress, that kind of stuff, guys, right? That stuff should come pretty much straight away. After a few meals, you'll feel it. This is because the body is awesome at working when you feel it properly. So the second part we're going to talk about then is what food to eat. Now, in the post, I've actually covered it in more detail, so all I'll say now is to focus on single ingredient foods 90% of the time. Obviously, there's 10% to play there, 10% I'm going to talk about later on in the video, which is more... Well, you'll enjoy it. You, you look forward to it. <laughs> so aim to eat four to five times a day, starting with breakfast. This is, um, doesn't have to be four to five meals a day. It can be snacks included, all right? Um, just make sure they're single food ingredients. Now then, proteins, carbs, fats. With protein, um, you will feel less hungry, okay? So it keeps you feeling fuller for longer. It also helps with blood sugar regulation and improves your recovery from training. So you won't feel um, so tired and achy for as long, all right? Fats provide a good source of energy as well and support hormonal uh, output, which is really important for you guys looking to lose weight, uh, in, uh, especially fat. Carbs, they, they've gotten a bad rep at the moment, all right? Carbs also provide a good source of energy when needed, all right? So if you have the bulk amount of your carbs around your workouts, your training, this will really help, all right? Now, the veg will cover your uh, micronutrient needs and fibres. This <laughs> fibre is really good for fat loss as well. You need it. So all these things, guys, the proteins, carbs, fats, fibres, that kind of stuff, you need in your diet, all right? If you take one of these away, it's really going to have a bad effect on you. Now then, the 10%, the other 10%. Once a week, I want you to enjoy one free meal, or a free meal. Now, this isn't a golden ticket to go mad and binge, but uh, it's to have a nice balanced meal, something you'll enjoy a little bit more and perhaps have a dessert, all right? But the dessert doesn't have to be like a bowl full of chocolate covered in chocolate sauce, covered in sprinkles and ooh, some ice cream as well oh, and some jelly, all right? It could be a bowl of Greek yogurt with some mixed berries and possibly some honey on it. Now, that's just something I would suggest to you, all right? It doesn't have to be. But... That's what I'm kind of aiming at, guys. I don't want you to be binging on something that's crap like McDonald's or Burger King. Eat single food ingredients, but make it a bit nicer for you, right? Or um, let it slip a little bit lower. The reason I'm saying this is because it's a lifestyle change and not a show prep. You're not a bodybuilder. You're not looking to stand on stage and impress judges. This is for you for life, to improve uh, your lifestyle, improve your energy levels, and help you live longer and enjoy life. Now the final piece of advice I'll say to you, the final thing you need in your nutrition for fat loss is plenty of water. Don't avoid this stuff, you need it. Water is needed for cell function, for, for everything in your body. Without it, everything gets affected. That's it from me guys, this video is quite long. I apologize, but we had to cover a lot of stuff. Now if you've got any questions, queries, or if there's anything that you're not um, completely satisfied with that I've covered, or any inquiries, just let me know guys. You can either comment below on this video or if you're a bit shy, you can PM me. You can send a message and keep it a bit more private. That's all from you guys. Unless you've got any questions, um, I'll speak to you soon in the next series. Have a nice night guys.